When our son Hawken was diagnosed with Duchenne 21 years ago, there was nothing on the horizon. There was no hope. And we were determined to change that, and we have. So when we started Cure Duchenne, our primary mission was to get the really good science out of the academic labs and into clinical trials. 2010, Cure Duchenne saw promise with Sarepta and the work that they were doing. And we are proud that we stepped in at a very crucial time to provide funding for them. I'm so excited to say congratulations, Sarepta, for this major milestone of getting the first gene therapy approved for Duchenne muscular dystrophy. The recent approval of 9001 to treat Duchenne muscular dystrophy is an extraordinary moment. For me personally and for all of my colleagues at Sarepta, it's not only an extraordinary achievement, but frankly, it's a humbling moment. So I really thank Cure Duchenne for fighting for patients that have Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So today is a day that we've waited and worked for for quite a long period of time. You know, I think that as these drugs and new technologies are approved, it opens up the pathways, the clinical trials, as well as the regulation of new approaches that are coming in. Unlike some medicines which just treat symptoms, gene therapy aims to correct the root cause of the disease. So this isn't just an advance for Duchenne, it's an advance in all of genetic medicine. Today, a family that has a young boy with Duchenne and is eligible for this gene therapy, they have a reason to hope. They have a reason that when they get that diagnosis, that they can look forward to a bright future. When me and my wife found out about my son's diagnosis, we were devastated. Our son was in a clinical trial program. From a child who could barely go up the stairs to now being able to keep up with his classmates, he's a normal four-year-old. I'm very grateful for everybody at Cure Duchenne, everybody at Sarepta, and everybody who's been working on this to help end this disease. Hope is always there. Watching patients that have been treated with this approach, you know, really is quite rewarding. That there's the basis of why we work hard on this, why we invest, why we bring key technologies to bear to accelerate research, and that there really is the main reasons why we're here. We have a real opportunity together to bring a richer, better, and I believe longer life to thousands of waiting families as a result of this approval. So this is a big milestone, but we are not done because every individual living with Duchenne deserves to have transformative treatments, and we're not gonna stop until that happens. We've come so far, and yet we still have a ways to go. Many people living with Duchenne will not benefit from this gene therapy because their age or mutation will exclude them from treatment. And for those that do receive it, this therapy will wear off as new muscle is created, diluting the treated muscle fibers. And right now, they cannot be redosed. We need the help of donors to help push us over that finish line to help us get to the summit of the mountain and so we can say that we've truly cured Duchenne.